This morning presenters Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby have denied skipping the queue during their visit to see the Queen lying in state. Yes, well, this comes after social media backlash as the presenters were spotted on Friday at Westminster Hall. I see social media, not just social media, the mainstream media have really gone for them. They were making comparisons about uh, these two versus David Beckham and also uh, ITV presenter Susanna Reid, who queued along with the public for hours. But Holly and Phil said uh, the reason they went straight to Westminster Hall rather than queuing up is because they were wor working on a report. Um, mm. Liz Brewer, lovely to see you. They're right, aren't they? They were working there and therefore they didn't have to queue. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the facts are. Um, if they were working and they had permission, fair enough. But until we know whether that's true or not, mm. no, you can't queue barge. You know, you queue barge at, at your peril because we, people, the British people don't accept it. And uh, there are ways and means, of, if necessary, to beat the queue uh, in a proper way. So people don't start sort of yelling and screaming and yeah. But what do you think, Mercy? Do you think they jumped? Do you learn. think they jumped the line as the Americans? Uh, have said? Uh, what I think is that I'm sure they, if they're saying they were working on a report, then I'm sure that's true. But surely they did also take advantage of the fact they were working to, you know. So I think that I mean, you could put a pass on, and and go to mm. the, that particular press entrance. And it, it appears, the only pictures I've mm. seen, were them be following that route. But, and the fact that they were let in, perhaps there were, you mm. know, reasons, but... What is it about queuing that um, is such a distinctly British, you know, pastime, so to speak? Because lots of people feel very strongly. Uh, Jacqueline here says, I've signed a petition for Holly Willoughby to be sacked, um, <laughs> for jumping the queue. People feel very strongly about yes. this. The Brits are, are literally are born to queue. They like to queue. Um, and it, it, queuing is an art. There are certain do's and don'ts. You're queuing and you decide you've got five friends in the background, even mm. if they're children, and you're in the queue, and then you get to the front and that crowd comes and joins you. That is a no-no. You mm. can't do that. Because the people who have been queuing for us, one thing I'll say about the queuing that we've experienced the last five, four or five days, why the Brits love it in those circumstances is because we are slightly um, reserved. It is a way we have a common interest of actually merging with other people and making friends. And we Brits need and want any excuse we can to be able to do that. What, what do you do, Liz, if you're in the queue for something and somebody jumps in front of you? Do you politely say, Oi, sling your oak, back of the queue? It, you know, you can, but everybody else will as well. You know, if you're going to leave the queue, the other thing is uh, you can't leave the queue until tap on the person in front because they won't know if you come back. But you have to graciously turn to the person behind and say, look, I have to leave the queue for a few mm. minutes. I'll be back. That's perfectly yeah. OK. Can you just settle this one for us very finally? When you're at a supermarket, right, tell us about this etiquette, because I've never known what's right or wrong in this situation, and everybody in front of you has got, you know, basket loads of, of items, mm. trolley full of items, and you've only got a couple of items to buy. Is it appropriate in that circumstance to say, can I just, you know, skip ahead of you guys? Absolutely. Or is it cute, cute, cute? No, absolutely. <laughs> you're appealing to the, the goodness of that person or the tiller. And there's nothing wrong to do that. I, I'm not sure I agree with that. But what I always do is if I am there with my massive trolley and somebody has mm. two items, then I think it's the, 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 um, it is on the person in the queue with the massive trolley to, to look and say, oh, please go ahead of me, you've only got two items. But you might not do that. You might be so occupied with your payment, your mm. goodies, putting them on the counter. So, you know, it, it really is up to the individual what you do. And as I say, it's up to how you feel about it. Mm. Um, we are extraordinary. Do you know, I was researching this morning. Do you know the only other animals that I found so far that queue? Go on. Baboons. <laughs> oh, amazing. That is the most amazing yeah. order. Yeah. And they queue. I mean, you know, That's the man in charge yeah. goes first. Well, well, and then Liz, you're what? You should, we should watch uh, it. Uh, it's we, we hysterical. And then they all come in the order, yeah. I think, of who they are. 